music has something to do with it. Okay. The music box has something to do with it. Like, where did my music go? That said, you know, it still wouldn't work for me. Bush. <laughs> yeah. Sheer buck. <laughs> but it, it 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 is a thing it's a thing to me that that if you don't know anything about Bush and Bush.
What the fuck? Yeah, okay, yeah, I got you, I got you. <laughs> Why did I say that? Okay, group name, thing is I think I I think I've got this. It might just send you an email and say that you're he, which is five dollar book firm. Email's been sent to fuck sent me an email. I wonder if this is worth it. Mm. Confirm your group. I agree to the cookies. <laughs> A link. There's one thing left to do. Oh, yeah, this isn't going to work. Because I forgot the, the one fatal thing here is that it's a secret Santa, which means it's just the the pool of people is also right the the results of the draw. Right. If you add a fourth okay. person, though, whoever gets the fourth person would be the vampire. That's kind of how I thought of it, possibly. Mm. <clears throat> but we might. But nobody might get the fourth. No, you would, because right. that's the point of a secret Santa. And the fourth person would get one of us, but that doesn't. That's kind of the throwaway one. The dummy player. Oh, weird. Okay. But the, but I, it, the three people in it right now are me, you, me, and... Yeah. So would... Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> so binky at clown.com or something like that. It's not just like... It's not just like... It'll shuffle... Oh, oh. Okay. Uh, I'll try. I'll, I'll, I don't understand that, but I'll try it. <laughs> so if if you draw the vampire, none of us are the vampire. If one of us draws the vampire, we're the vampire. Yes. So whoever. Yes. But but how do I know if none of you draw the vampire? Because you will. Oh, oh, right. But then will I also know if one of you does? Like, which one of you did? Because mm. I don't want to know that. Shouldn't. Uh, shouldn't. Basically, if you have the fourth person, or the fourth dummy email, whatever, whoever gets an email that says, send your gift to... <laughs> vampire yeah is the vampire everybody okay. else everybody else will get send your gift to daniel send your gift to sean send your gift to ian and the vampire will also okay. get an email that says send your gift to one of us three so, all right because yeah. i think i understand it now because the vampire is the only one that can't get the vampire as the right the, that yeah okay right. oh, that makes sense now i, I get it okay stop Uh, what the fuck? Oh, the vampire cannot get. Oh, okay. Okay, no excuse. Not here. Next step. Uh, group name. <laughs> or. Mailing address. No mailing address. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, I don't know what this currency is, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna click on it. It's funny. Mm I think, I think, I think I've figured, I think, I think I've, I've sent it to myself and then I just need to copy the link mm -hmm. and, oh, this is the wrong one. Yes. 
this one because it's three short poems, ampersand of empire. Sean, you're the PHP expert, just quick. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I just want to raise Ian to program something really fast. It's the weekend, come on. No, the weekend is what played at the Super Bowl for halftime. Huh. Sorry. Hey, is forward. Uh, but I'm not getting that second cover. I'm gonna click. Oh, okay. Well, I can just edit the old one. Uh, what what percentage of the of the people are supposed to be vampires? What percentage of the people? Uh, so I would I I would like for one person to be the vampire. Okay. Out of three of us. Right now, I'm just trying to get it to send me the confirmation. Got it. Got it. I got it. Okay. Oh, I call it four Sean. It's three. Whatever. Four because of the, the ghost that we have here. Mm -hmm. Copy the link. Patient. This should. Hey, Daniel, oh, what if we do work. like, what if we do like our both year times are both date and then like mod five or something and if it's odd for the vampire even were not mm, maybe yeah i yeah. mean i don't really know your birth date you might know mine but you don't have to calculate yeah mine. it's it's more not a just a random role or a pseudo random role it's more like uh, cookie jar draw, where you right. where you don't re-roll the same dice. It's basically <laughs> reducing the number of sides of that die by one. Okay. I, I think I think the name I think the link works because you get to select your name. So select your own name. Mm -hmm. I'm selecting Ian. Uh, Ian has already been used and has received an email. Oh, okay. So then, what roll did I get? Join. I am. Oh boy, it's going to send me junk from now on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's actually a pretty cool tool to pre fill it with mm -hmm. names like this. Yeah. All right, I'm going to pull up my email then. My name is, and I'm not going to say it. <laughs> All right, I have my result. Let me know if it works, if you get your result. <laughs> I have a result. Sean? Uh, checking my email that I forgot to oh, log into. I don't think you will get an email. It's, you have to click on the link that I sent in Discord. I don't oh. know your email. I don't know your email. So. Oh no, no, that's the point. Is I did we did click the link and it says now enter your email and we will email you the name that you pulled. Oh. Um, okay, yeah, I did it through the website, but whatever works. Oh, interesting. Okay. Maybe I'm doing it. You got a result. 
But I mean, it sounds like you got a result. So. Oh, here we go. Check your drawn name. I got it. All right. All right. I could feel myself being so close to just blurting out the result I got. <laughs> All right. Yes, I do do that sometimes. Hmm. Cool. I have done. Right. Reading ahead on the. And just because I'm. Oh, and I didn't roll. I didn't roll on the table. Yeah. Oh, and I'm gonna mute myself so you don't hear how many times I roll. All right. <sighs> okay, I forgot my password. <laughs> I didn't see. I just I joined as Ian, and then I went to the group page. But maybe I could only do that because I wasn't like the administrator. And maybe because I you were checked, logged in. Checked my drawn name. I'm not logged in. Oh. I don't have an account on this website. Weird. Yeah, All right. right. <laughs> okay, that's a um, good call. I'm going to mute myself as well. Yep. I guess we could have all agreed to roll twice, but muting yourself. <laughs> um, all right. Did you figure out a, a Sherlock Holmes? Term? Uh, it doesn't have to be good. The first time I played it, I played with I was the same person that I am now. I was I was uh, I was um, Mr. Holmes for Mr. Holmes, and uh, I was playing with Benedict Cumberbatch, uh, Sherlock Gnomes from the movie Sherlock from Gnomeo and Juliet, <laughs> and Looker, the Pokemon detective from Pokemon. <laughs> Oh wow! <laughs> so you know this guy's a little bit. Really? I don't want to use a mixture of letters, numbers, and symbols. Ah. You don't. Oh need man, you're making an account. I don't think you need to. You shouldn't. Need no, to. I'm trying to get to my pass, my email. Oh, your email password, right? Oh man, right. <laughs> and I, yeah. What? So you, oh. you probably don't have an email from me because I again I don't have your. Email. Okay, try again with the password Should you haven't it. used before. Let me try to enter that one. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. 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 Maybe I. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna use my different. Go back. Ah. No. Oh my God. Ow. Come here. Group. Away. 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 Oh. <sighs> One hour later, we've succeeded in. <laughs> <sighs> oh, did you succeed in drawing or in logging into your email? No, not yet. No, I. I... <laughs> I went to enter in my new password, and it said that 
I'd already used that password yeah. in the past, so please enter a different one. So I was thinking, well, maybe if I just enter in the password I just entered in <laughs> to try and log in instead of, anyway. I'm really feeling that sunk cost fallacy right now because it's still every second the wise thing to do is to to just abandon this. But but I I want to finish it because we're so close. <laughs> the really sad thing was I found a card draw dice roll bot for Discord, but my oh. two factor authentication has me locked out as far as adding oh. new stuff. Oh. And oh well. I misplaced my hardware key to get that up and running. So, <laughs> in the future, if you can figure that out, I bet that's just useful for a lot of things. Oh yeah. Really? I've used that one in the past, too. Go. You have a neck fetish. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. I agree. How hmm, how would you guys feel about since I'm trying to see how this works, doling out the information? A lot of these tables work best with four players, so I thought I might go first and last. Sure. Okay. okay. Uh, I don't want to hunt up all the rolls. But also, I don't think I don't think it's really the kind of game where that's that's like a, a thing, a bad thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Finally, I am I am prepared. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Did you get your result on the table or on the on the um did you draw a name? Uh yes. Okay. Uh all right. Ah, there it is. And then you rolled you know, meet yourself and roll one or two D sixes depending on what name you drew. Yep. All right. So, next we describe the scene. Sherlock Holmes. That's a good, <laughs> that's a good pun. <laughs> Did Watson have a, a fun name? I don't remember. Tomato Watson. That's it. 
yeah, we described the scene. Um, uh, these four Sherlock Holmes joined forces, or these three Sherlock Holmes joined forces to investigate a terrible crime. One player describes the crime scene in as much detail as they like, leaving out the crime. Just the scene, not the, not the crime itself, not the body or whatever, or the stolen bike. Uh, uh, yeah, um, and then rolls on the scene details table. Hmm. So I will describe a, a bar, uh, a smelly billiards bar, uh, somewhere in the southern United States. That's where we are. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to roll on the scene details table, which I'm going to send the scene details table in Discord. Mm -hmm. Let me roll that. Got a three. So the next person, uh, go alphabetical, Daniel. Okay. You choose one of those options on three. We're in a, so we're already in a, a smelly billiards bar in Kentucky. Uh, okay. And... Uh, And then I just roll the D6. Yeah, just the... describe it. Describe the place incorporating the detail that you choose from number three. Uh, and then roll a D6. Say it again. Uh, describe the bar in Kentucky. A smelly billiards bar. Okay. Yeah. This is, uh, yeah. So I just add something from this table, correct? Yes. Okay, yes. No, from three, number three, one of those options. You have two options from resolve three. Oh, got you, yeah. Yeah, either clown number or a trampoline. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I mean, it would fit if I said this place definitely has some unusual odors, but that's not very creative so i'm going to yeah, say that's already in there yeah i know so i'm going to say that above the um yeah above the you know, behind the bar where all the bottles are kept each bottle is interspersed with one weird looking creepy doll okay <laughs> you know the kind that when you lay them back their eyes close when you sit them up their eyes open back up yeah lots of clown dolls Behind the uh, behind the uh, bar, and roll a d6 for Sean. Okay. Good work so far. We've got a smelly billiard bar with lots of clown memorabilia behind the bar. And um, okay. Um, behind the bar. Um, there is uh, three katanas that are just kind of leaning in the corner. Ooh. Um, it's, a, it's a rough bar. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's a rough bar. Yeah, there's... Uh, it's a dystopian. Yeah. All right. Um, and... Uh, uh, where there once were famously, this bar is called uh, the the Twelve uh, Clown Dolls. There are only eleven clown dolls. One has mm. gone missing in in some sort of terrible crime. 
So now it's the, the, the fourth person is supposed to describe the crime itself, fit it into the scene. One of the clowns, this famous 12 clown bar has been sold. <laughs> and now the detectives enter the scene. Uh, the players investigate the scene one clue at a time by each rolling on the clue prompts table and describing the results in turn. In, in turn, the primary objective is to make each clue more important than the last, regardless of what was rolled. Weird. Okay. <laughs> uh, the secondary objective is to try to create situations to test everyone's suspicious quirks and determine who is secretly a vampire. Mm -hmm. Players continue investigating until someone is accused of being a vampire. So I'll send the table. Remember, <laughs> regardless of what the clue is, whoever goes after you, and don't, don't take this into account when you're describing the clue. It's for the next person. It's not your problem. <laughs> when you go, you've got to make your clue more important than the last clue. Just, I, <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm not sure what to scene. expect from that, but. <laughs> oh, I don't like the smell of this bar. There's no bees here. I keep bees. That's a part of my character. I'm an old man who settled down and collects bees. Oh, goodness. Who are you? Uh. Well, speak, I am a man or cucumber. <laughs> uh, you'll, you'll be a pickle by the time we're done here. Yeah? Right. <laughs> I wander into. Uh, no. Good Lord. I do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hop weirdly. Let's see. Right, I wander up through the through the door of this weird billiards bar, kind of squint in the light, and immediately notice that on one of the uh, billiards tables, the leg is splintered, and in this splintered leg hangs a scrap of fabric bearing the um, resemblance of some you know, some sports team. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look what I have found. Oh, I say. I forgot to roll on the table. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We'll come back to me. Oh, and who is this? A third. <laughs> Detective, what possibly could your name be? Uh... Ah, uh, but it. Boop. What a curious pause. It's almost as if you haven't decided what your name is. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> you, young man. Wait, are we are we all actually Sherlock Holmes? Yes. It, it is up for debate. Okay. I mean, I know that I'm I am. I'm entirely sure. Yes, well, of course, I'm, I haven't I've been called Sherlock Holmes. I, most people call me Mr. Holmes. But I, I, late, as of late, I mostly only speak to my bees and a small child. That's the very, part of the very, movie. I very think. interesting. Well, I think there's a woman as well. <laughs> but possibly think? the child mother. Uh, obviously. Very well. Um... What there is a there's a crime in progress. Hmm. Yes, 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 yes. So, so I've heard. The, our companion here has discovered a scrap of torn fabric and, and splinter of the wood. Do you see anything as you look around? Um, roll a d twenty. <laughs> ah, well, yes. You've obviously neglected this golden figurine behind the bar and pull it out. Um, this obviously does not match the decor of 
of this this seedy, war-torn, doll-infested bar. It is obviously planned. It was obviously not part of this bar before this crime took place. Therefore, we need to find out where this golden figurine came from. It, it is quite shiny, isn't it? You're right. Most of this place is dirty, but I could almost see my own reflection. Wait, wait. I walk up. Oh, with who my... did you? I hold it aloft for everyone to look into it. <laughs> Indeed, oh. indeed. It is shiny. Very shiny. What's yeah. shiny? No! Don't let me see that. <laughs> I duck out of the way. Oh, curious. Most curious. Well, uh, I too have had a bit of a perk around, uh, and uh, I found this uh, broken broadsword <laughs> jammed into the ceiling. <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that a curious? Yes. Oh, I, oh, I seem to have cut myself. In the ceiling? Is that what I'm looking at? That what I'm looking at? I just guessed. Oh, no, it's not really. Yes. In the ceiling. Over here by this window. Mm, could that be a point of escape? Uh, let me just open it up real quick. Mm. Ah, the, the wonderful sunlight. <laughs> I'm good for the skin. Oh, right, I'm supposed to. <laughs> okay. Oh, I accidentally closed the page. <laughs> Does anyone see anything else? Well, what about you, Mr. Cucumber? Uh, uh, right. Mr. Uh, Mr. Mr. Holmes, <laughs> as your name is. This is not unusual. Hmm. This thing, hmm. It's almost as if... Do I have to roll again for another clue, or do we just keep yes. rolling? Yes, yeah, we keep going until we determine the vampire. I see. Hmm, this this cloth that I found, it seems to be a jersey of some sort. But look here, next to the massive number on the... Not, it looks like a massive number anyway, like a one. Except I can't tell, because it's torn. But Wait, what, it's discolored! It it's discolored! <laughs> There's a... It, there's a nice yellow patch right on the edge of this jersey. Here, smell it. Smell it, Mr. Holmes. <laughs> oh, uh, what does it smell uh, like to you? I could have sworn oh, it, it smells, smells like garlic. Oh, it, it, quite, it smells like garlic. I do love uh, uh, a good uh, 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 garlic oil pasta. What do you think, um... Uh, young man. <laughs> no, 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 th no, thank you. Garlic makes my nose in, in, inflamed. <laughs> Curious. <laughs> well, 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 since you're not smelling garlic, is there anything you see around the room <laughs> that could possibly be more important than this very significant smelly sweater? Which is definitely much more important than the sword in this year. You are all missing the chalk <laughs> dust on the bottom of the statue. <gasps> the chalk dust in this billiards bar? How significant! I know. Yes. Where could it have been from? Where hmm. could this where could this chalk dust Possibly have come from in the building's bar. Hmm. Fascinating. Mm. Chalk mm. dust, chalk dust. Mm. Mm. Is it getting quite hot in here? Let me let me pop, put my collar down. Here, I usually pop it up in this coat outside. Yes. Mm. Uh, lovely wind on my neck. Don't you just love it? Mm. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> to dry up some of the glistening sweat slowly dripping down my neck. You are correct. Nothing anyone. That is nothing. That, yes. No, nothing that anyone would want to 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 stare at or <laughs> note as significantly alluring. Nobody. All right. <laughs> 
Um, all right. Well, I th think we've had a fun time messing around, but of course we must acknowledge the elephant in the room, the enormous conspiracy board written on uh, by the door. Hmm. There's, there's Washington, D.C. with a line going to uh, it's, a it's, billiards bar. <laughs> True, but there's another line coming from this conspiracy board. It's, it's, hmm, I wonder why there's a line going straight north to a, an area known as, what does that say? Pennsylvania? <laughs> Transylvania, my dear boy. Oh, you'd be surprised. I know quite a bit about uh, Transylvania. Oh, do you? <laughs> Do you? Oh yes, no, no, not very particularly. Yeah. I do have Transylvania citizenship, of course. It is nothing. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, are you saying you do not? I say I don't think I I've mean, ever met a single person who didn't have Transylvania citizenship. Mr. Holmes, what about you? Uh, I have never been to. Uh... Transylvania, no. Uh, quite lovely. Lots of bears, I heard. Truly. You've got quite large, disturbing eyes, Mr. Holmes. Mr. Green Holmes. <laughs> Do you see anything with those <laughs> oddly shaped, fused together Sonic the Hedgehog eyes? Do you do you fear knives as a as a cucumber? Do you fear what do you getting mean? chopped up? Of course not. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, I would wield them if I even had arms. <laughs> even that's a good point. <laughs> what do your club penguin eyes see? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to roll something that isn't a stain. Um, <laughs> yeah, I rolled 15 three times. Not twice in a row, but then once earlier. Ah. <sighs> One second. I'm also going back and forth. Remember, well, this is more important than this conspiracy board. Right. Oh, man. We gotta fucking figure out who's the vampire. <laughs> it's gonna be a nightmare later. What does this conspiracy board say? You said it had a map on it. <clears throat> yes, 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 yes. See, now this line over here leads to this. No, what no. What, Look, what are you doing? No, I'm telling you. Washington, D.C. to Kentucky, Washington, D.C. to Pennsylvania, or I guess... You... Uh, Transylvania. <laughs> Look, the lines make a shape. A shape of a rather interesting-looking vase. Perhaps... Very interesting. I'm not sure what to make of it. Not right off, mind you. Yeah. Hmm. Does look quite like a vase. Hmm. Uh, could it be a, a could it be a shrunken baseball bat? It might be a shrunken baseball bat. Uh, but but I say I've forgotten something earlier. When when we were all looking at our reflection. Somebody didn't want to. Who was that? I am not certain, but I certainly don't like a sh any shiny reflective surface. If you're, if that's what you're getting at. Okay. All right. Oh no. Uh, you, uh, I say, uh, I do hate bats, don't I? <laughs> not a fan of bats. Don't know why anyone would be. You hate bats. Don't you all agree? Yes. Bats, really? Uh, yes, I don't like bats at all. I find them quite irritating. Sure. Oh, quite, quite unlike bees. They fly. They're fuzzy. There's a lot of similarities. 
Oh, but you, you were saying you this doesn't look like a vase, but a bat. I thought you said, I thought you were referring oh. to the old pastime American sport known as baseball. Or maybe uh, we're uh, speaking of cricket. I don't know. I'm not sure either, but I, but I do say, would you describe yourself perhaps as a bat? Yes. <laughs> oh, I, I know nothing say... of the sport. You wouldn't say what? I wouldn't say necessarily an enthusiast, but I, I do perhaps um, like a bat. Like a bat. Young Mr. Holmes, I say, if you don't like garlic, but you do like bats, you may be a vampire. That's absurd. <laughs> I'd say if you if you are about if you are a vampire you have to tell me or it's a chapter. And also that's the rules of the game. <laughs> you're saying you're not a vampire. Ow. Uh no, I'm I'm the vampire. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now we do not address we don't talk about vampires anymore. Vampire phase is over. Okay. <laughs> we will never address vampires ever again. It's not a part of the game anymore. We're past it. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> but now that we have all the clues. Wait a minute. Let me. Uh, uh, when vampires revealed. Uh, or when the last non vampire is accused. Uh, that player, that's you, Sean, <laughs> sorry, explains how they have solved the act. Other players may chime in with details, and no one mentions vampire vampirism at all ever again. <laughs> Finally, the player describes how the, how the three Sherlock Holmes work together to, 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 oh, capture the criminal. Okay, well, more importantly, though, Young Mr. Holmes, I see a spark in your eye of inspiration. Tell us, how do all these disparate clues come together in a coherent crime? <laughs> okay. Well, obviously, the conspiracy board lists all of the people who were here at the time of the crime. Yes, of course. Does it? Yes. As they usually do. And what, pray tell? Would be the names of these people. Well, they they use, they use pseudonyms, of course, they, to hide their their true identities. But it was uh, code name Bob and code name Bill. Ah, yes, old broadsword Bill. Of course, of Carries course. Carries a of broadsword. Yes. Uh, Bill, I'm sure, at some point took out one of those katanas over there and sliced broadsword bills broadsword in half. Oh. Somehow it got stuck in the ceiling. But yes, wait, that makes sense. But wait, there's Relatively a correlation. Significant. No, I sense a correlation oh. between the name Bill and the fact that this is a billiards bar. Hmm. Oh, yes. Surely that has Definitely. some relevance. <laughs> Definitely, we should be introducing more clues into the mess we've already created for us. <laughs> Make it more complicated, exactly. <laughs> oh, I think I just realized. Is not the yes? Is not the 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 name Buffalo Bill the name of a sport team to which this may <laughs> the name refer of a, to a sports team? Yeah, that's true, the Buffalo Bills, yes. <laughs> and um, and this is in relation to the conspiracy this, board. Well, no, it's in relation to this scrap of torn fabric that looks like a sports jersey. Oh, sort of yes. Yes. Oh, yes. The, good that we've gotten that clue sorted out. Yes. <laughs> now, but I think there may be many more significant clues. For instance... 
this very reflective uh, figurine. Ah, what does that me. have to do with it? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I, I suspect that this, in the style of Indiana Jones, was meant to take the place of the stolen clown. <laughs> of course, how sharp I saw otherwise, yes. And indeed, up here on the shelf where the doll was sitting, we see a smudge of chalk dust, which matches the chalk dust on the bottom of the statue. Oh, yes. Yes. And the, the statue, what was the statue again? The the golden figurine. Oh, right, of course, it was the same one. Yeah, that's very significant. So who would have a chalk dust? Where was the chalk dust found again? Other than not... I mean, uh, not, it's not chuck dust from the billiards table that you put on the end of the queue? I think it was. I think the stat, the figurine was set down onto one of those blocks of chalk and ah. then onto the shelf. Yes. Very significant. I'm forgetting some of the other clues now. <laughs> um, wait, wait. Um, oh. Oof. No, that was. What color is that chalk? That chalk? Yes. Um, it's, uh, uh, you have a look at it. You seem to have some idea of what color you want it to be. What color mm. is it? Well, I thought, I thought for a moment that it was supposed to, I mean, usually these things are blue, the blue chalk cubes that you use in billiards. Yeah. However, yeah, this one blue. seems to be yellowish. I wonder, and I hold it up to uh -huh. the jersey. Look here. It is the same color as the stain that uh, takes and this. And it smells like <laughs> <laughs> Who would have yellow garlic scented chalk to bring to a billiards bar? It must be a professional billiards. The custom scented chalks are quite expensive. <laughs> well, there was only one place in town where where we could actually find um, garlic scented chalk. So yes, I think we should go there because I don't know that we actually finished. have any more clues that we haven't addressed. Nope. <laughs> Unless it has something to do with the chalk mines of Washington, D.C. Oh, yes. I guess we kind of haven't tied in the conspiracy before, have we? <laughs> Other than, oh, and of course, the, I think the most significant clue, what does the fucking maze mean? <laughs> That's the last clue, so it has to be the most important. Well, look up here. It's the shape One of a Yes, the shape of a vase. But the top lip is chipped. Almost as if the chip <sighs> out of the vase travels through the area on this conspiracy map known as, hmm, Vermont. Vermont? It was Bernie Sanders! <laughs> Bernie or Bobby? Hmm. Bobby Sanders, his brother. Is that his actual brother? Maybe. I know he does have a brother. <laughs> was a British politician in the Green Party. Found this out yesterday. Oh, wow. Uh... Very well, it's solved. Hooray! To Washington. <laughs> and the uh, three Sherlock Holmes travel to Washington and apprehend. Uh, what did you say, Bob Sanders? Bobby Sanders. Yeah. Yes. Bobby yeah. Sanders uh, for stealing a clown in Kentucky. <laughs> very well, very well done, Detective. Wow. Bravo. <laughs> so yeah, my favorite part of that game is that it it it, it forces you to create an, an insanely complicated scenario, and then right at the end is like, "Fuck you, put it back together." <laughs> look what look at the mess you've made. Now fix it. <laughs> right. Oh man. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, so I, I love pulling that out sometimes. I, I gotta do it more. because uh, it's a good little it's a good little uh Gosh, that's uh <laughs> pretty much uh, I'll send the 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 full sheet now. Yes. That's a please. that's a mess of improv. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh it, <laughs> It's probably better in person, but I think we did. I think we did good. Right. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, so I've sent the I've sent the sheet. Yep. Um, it was I believe the origin is. Are you familiar with the uh, podcast My Brother, My Brother and Me, oh, or like no. any of the other McElroy sort of polygon? I don't know. It's 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 somewhere in the McElroy brothers sphere of of. Uh, it might have been on the adventure zone. Hmm. But anyway, what they it's three brothers and their dad who have kind of taken turns DMing, but one of the brothers keeps saying like he, he's not gonna DM. I'm you know, not not really a creative person, it just doesn't work. But he, he acquiesced to okay, I will run one game, but it's gonna be a mess. <laughs> it's gonna be called Four Sherlock Holmes and a Vampire. <laughs> One of those Sherlock Holmes, and he was just joking. He was just like, "It's just, it's, it's all bullshit. Nothing matters." But then somebody put it together into a game system with like an actual hook, uh, an actual <laughs> concept behind it. Yeah, yeah. And then they did play it. <laughs> That's brilliant. Yeah. That's it's brilliantly yeah. simple. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. This this guy, the guy who made it, that one DM. Or that one GM. I don't know anything about them, but um, they have other one, well, like one page one shots that I haven't checked out. I think they made Honey Heist, but I'm not sure. You heard of Honey Heist? No. It's a pretty popular one. Uh, everyone's a bear. You're all bears, and you have to steal honey. And pops. Uh, and you. Uh, and you just. I just found their Dropbox with everything else. <laughs> oh, they actually might not have. Right? No, they did not make somebody else. Seems like a lot of work to to go yeah. through getting who was the vampire, and then we discover who the vampire is, and then, and then you're not. Let's talk about it. <laughs> well, what I love is I think. The, the the way that they've made it, the vampire thing is almost like just a trick to get you to make up more clues because you can't stop making clues until you figure out the vampire. Yep. Yep. Oh, and then right. once you figure out the vampire, twist, put it back together. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's yeah. Oh, I gotta open the window again. Got out of here. Close it because there's noise. Mm. I barely touched my. I made a gin and tonic, so I usually have some sort of weak drink when I mm -hmm. run a game, but mm -hmm. I, barely, I didn't touch it. That was very engrossing. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh, you know I have run it. I've run it three times. This is the third time. Ah. I guess you, I guess you don't really run. It's too. It's too. Like nobody's really runs it. I mean, somebody holds the, the four cards, and yeah, one of them's a joker, and that's the end of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, I, could, I could see my, doing this with my my sister's in laws tomorrow. Even. Yeah. <coughs> oh, yeah. Um. Yeah, I, I I'm gonna actually get off now. I'm I'm gonna take a little break. But if we want to talk later about uh, anything about. Uh, games that we're working on or something we can't um anything you wanted to say daniel about that link you said i don't know what it is which link jade colossus oh 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 uh it's a humble bundle thing i had bought into a couple years mm -hmm. ago in a system mm -hmm. called numenera um yeah you mentioned numenera right basically i just on a lark go went and looked it up this morning because a friend of mine is building a <clears throat> online um, text game area and I got mm. all inspired because this Jade Colossus has a built-in um, random dungeon generator oh. and you just sit there and you That's roll cool. your d20 and you figure out what is the next room do you get there by turning left turning right going straight oh shit walking through a portal what's inside the room roll a d20 to find out okay. so you could that like generate a dungeon as you as you play exactly and some of those are like cool. and some of the contents are like you enter another plane of existence <laughs> you are now oh. yeah. <laughs> that's cool <laughs> yeah 
So yeah, it, uh, it was fascinating to read through and I tried just by myself rolling out a dungeon and I only got like five rooms in before I was completely twisted around. But mm -hmm. um, the system itself just looks gorgeous, but I'm not sure how yeah. complicated it is. But to see they adapted it for 5e is like, ooh, okay. The uh, the DMG also has a random dungeon generator in it that sounds very similar to that mm -hmm. method. Right. Except, uh, right. But the system is more a sci-fi type, a sci-fi fantasy type of genre in okay. terms of like going to different planets and worlds and stuff like that, at least by the look of it. Anyway, mm -hmm. yeah. I have, I do have a couple, I have a couple one shot. I don't know, I don't need to like run every time. Like if you guys have an idea, mm -hmm. something, you know, I mean, I, I didn't, I didn't join the group as a DM, I guess I joined it as a player. True. Uh, but I mean, I'm all right with, I'm all right with how it worked out. I, mm -hmm. I was a little frustrated at first because I, I joined because I was trying to play more and DM less, but at right. this point I can kind of feel my DM muscles <laughs> atrophying a bit because I haven't done it much and it, it's good to, well, I know. I, have a couple more shots. I know for sure that my own DM muscles have atrophied because I haven't flexed them in like five years. Right. So. Right. Right. So I know I could stand to come up with something and just give it a shot. Yeah. I, I had a great time running that. Pre that I had a great time running against the cult of the reptile god. Mm -hmm. um, so I, you know, I encourage trying something pre-written if you haven't before. Yeah. Um, especially one shot. I against the cult of the reptile god is supposed to be like three sessions. Okay. Uh, so, you know, I guess th that's a, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's just me that I managed to stretch it way out. Mm -hmm. But but yeah, I gotta I gotta watch that. And if you like like maybe, maybe I'll want to run something and actually make it shorter. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to do my, that. Yeah. My only experience. Um, aside from Dungeon World, which is its own animal, was yeah, yeah. Um, Rise of Tiamat, or no, uh, Horde of the Dragon Queen. And, mm. and my, my, my tendency to world build overrode my yeah. realization that just run the game for your players and be done with it. Yeah. And so I kept like improvising and adding stuff and making it more complicated right. than it needed to be. And <laughs> one of the right. players was like, why are you throwing wolves at us when we're like level 12 now? <laughs> I'm like, oh, right, okay. <laughs> I, was, I was in this, in this one campaign um, where this guy had like, he spent years and years on this world, like coming up with, he, he used like a random name generator for all of his towns. Mm -hmm. So they were oh. like incomprehensible names. Yeah, of course. Um, and there was like, there was like no room for us in this world. Like mm -hmm. he didn't have, there was like no flexibility in anything really, just because more, everything was, 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 was scoped out. Yeah. Yeah. And I know a guy kind of like that. He loves building his fate world. And when you sit him down, he just will talk your ear off about his system. And I'm like, dude, <laughs> Uh, I have a couple of original one shots, but those take those take so much time. Mm -hmm. I'm always nervous about them because they take a lot of time to develop, but it's inherently one session. Right. It's gone so fast. Uh, and it's not like I can run it again the same mm -hmm. way. It doesn't work that way. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> but uh, I, I want I want to just like power through and actually finish some of them. Get right. to the point where I'm okay running them. Right. I've got. I've, I've hinted at a, a, a Middle Earth setting yep. one shot. Yep. Dwarf dwarf centric <laughs> as it is right now. Uh, I've also got a. Uh, I, I I put this one on the shelf for a while because it is plague centric, uh, but uh, it, it's it's like a one shot where you have to go go uh, seek help from a scary druid. For something that's plaguing your village, hmm. um, and then I had, and that's five E. Although I did try to adapt it for Dungeon World one time, but we never ended up playing it. 
Okay. So, I don't know. But I think I want to run it in 5e. I've, got, I've already built some of the creatures in 5e, and I think I did. I think they're pretty cool the way mm. that I made them. So, mm. I want to use them that way. Uh, and then, I, and then of course, there's the haunting, which I want to. I want to finish for you guys because I because I hyped it up so much. And, oh yeah, for sure. I mean, and, and, and sent you the the, the and anyway, we all read the you know the uh, alone against the flame. So I want I want to. Mm -hmm. I, all I really need to do is just like read the actual module, which I haven't sat down and done. Gotcha. Um, What's the status of then, party then one in? Um, oh man! Reptile God. I think, they're, I think they're like one to three sessions away from finishing, and I just <laughs> haven't. We just haven't played since I uh, got back from England. I see. Um, so All right. they're so close to done. I need to just. Uh, we need to get together and do that. Yep. <laughs> And then we can do the in, uh, the the arena fight. Yay! <laughs> Where do you want to do that, by the way? Because obviously they're not on this Discord. I don't even know if both of them are on Discord. Right. Hmm. Um, I would. Uh, so I don't know. I would. Know, and, and plus, yeah. I don't. We we could we if we could do it without without it being on Twitch or whatever. Because I guess I'd also have to ask them about that. Yeah. No, I'm not gonna. I, <laughs> yeah. Could we? Are they? You into like a, are they uh, connecting via Roll Twenty? Because we could. Uh, via Roll Twenty, yeah. We usually video chat through. <laughs> we usually actually video chat through Google uh, Hangouts. Oh, oh wow! Um, Except that that's, might work. Yeah. We we used to do that. Yeah, we did. Yeah. But we're kind of <laughs> we're on a clock as far as Google Hangouts goes because that's going away really soon. <laughs> It's going really what? It's going away really soon. They're yeah. sh they're shutting it down in lieu of like whatever right. duo or something else. But right, I mean they've done that. It used to be plus, mm -hmm. yeah, and we still call it that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. But uh, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm trying to think if I had any other one shots or whatever in the works. I mean, I have some ideas that. Aren't um, aren't uh, put together at all. But those are the ones that are like, I could see, I could see those getting finished and run within twenty twenty one. Sure. Yeah, I'll look so, through my yeah. list of stuff. I've got paper modules and I've got some digital stuff that I've just kind of started collecting. But and if I find anything I mean, interesting, I'd offer it. But yeah. My, my, like uh, your experience is totally different from mine. My experience has been to to like I don't know. It's so it's so simple, but like every time I feel like I've bit off more than I can chew. Mm. Um, and that, that's always kind of been the problem. I'm sure there's more problems than that, but just yeah, I I, uh, I guess the tough thing though is that sometimes I I don't realize something is ambitious until I. <laughs> and deep into trying to do it. Right. Like I, I thought that it would be simpler to make my own uh, setting than it would be to try and because because at the time I, I didn't like the idea of running a pre made module. And so I was faced with either making my own setting or making my own adventures within an existing setting. And I was like, well, obviously making my own setting is way simpler. I'll just do that. <laughs> Uh, it was not simple. Sure. I mean, adapting a setting wouldn't have been simple either. That would have been crazy as well. Right. For me. <laughs> I, but I, I just didn't really consider running a pre-made module. I don't know if that would have been the right thing to do, but it was. Now it was at this point. You know, when I ran against the code of the reptile, but I'd like to run more. Mm -hmm. It really. I think it was you running a. a um. Uh, Tomb of Annihilation. That's that's what that's what that's what got me to give in and be like, all right, all right, all right, all right run on this. Oh, uh, I really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But, yeah, I mean, it, it it is nice to uh, to kind of relieve yourself of the the pressure of coming yeah. up with all of the setting and. Uh, traps and motivation and so forth, and you can just yeah. focus on. 
and you still get to make it your own. I mean, you made you like Withers. I imagine was not quite the same in the module as he was the way that you made him out. <laughs> uh, yeah, shadow, yeah. With with it, like your own sort of spin. Withers is in the module, but he's not technically openly antagonistic. Mm. Um, like that whole area does exist. Withers' his office is literally on the map. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, he's not supposed to be that engaged yeah. with the with the characters. If they yeah. somehow discover the the DC twenty secret door and get back there, then yeah. Withers can you know uh, yeah get to them, but. Other than that, no. I like the survey. That was was that your uh, invention? Was him surveying us about how deadly the traps were? What's that? He, when we first met Withers, he was like, eh, "And how did you how did you feel about that uh that uh the treasure chest trap? Did that was that uh, would you rate that like a five or a six on the <laughs> deadly deadliness?" Oh God! You remember that? Yeah, that was that was me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's, there's, there's like room to throw stuff. Like wow. All right, I'm gonna go. All right. All right. See ya. Yeah. Take care. Thank you. Mm -hmm. See ya. All right. I'm gonna have to.